year, the 99% has been left without jobs, economic security, and the loss of the American dream. That is why, just like the civil rights movement that Dr. King and many other activists has fought to bring about, we too march today to bring economic and racial justice for everyone in this country. As dreamers and immigrants, we learn tremendously from courageous civil rights activists to speak up and fight for our rights and for the rights of others. And because of his legacy and those that came before us, dreamers in California are close to living the American dream of going to college and being able to give back to the community. Just last year, California was able to pass the State Dream Act and plant hopes to many young students like me that we are one step closer to reaching our American dreams. But the works of the dreamers and of immigrants in this country is not over. Last month, I witnessed a rally for a ban on HB 56 in Montgomery, Alabama, the same place where Rosa Parks bravely refused to give up her seat, the same place where Dr. King's church stood, and the same place where ordinary people mobilized to bring equality for all, but the same place has passed a law where it would allow undocumented immigrants to be jailed for profit and would allow people to be racially profiled. I remember walking all these historical monuments and thinking how ironic it was for this injustice to be happening at a place that has worked so hard to bring progress. This is why our work is not done as citizens in history. As Dr. King once said, change does not roll on the wheels of inevitability, but comes through continuous struggle. We have to persist to bring change towards injustice that still plagues our society. So today, in the legacy of Dr. King, and as part of the 99%, we march against wage theft. We march to put an end to private prisons and incarceration of undocumented immigrants for corporate profiteering. We march to, end shed, to shed light against all those who exploit our work, our families, and our communities. We march to put an end to detentions and deportations of our families and neighbors because every individual has a right to an American dream. So today, let's march on. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jamie.